Hey guys, Jen Cravassi, Jekyll Bates, and this is your workshop update for the week. I know it's long overdue and I apologize for that. Show season is usually pretty rough. Um, what's cool about this week is that we're doing a local show here in Cartersville, Georgia, so I have the opportunity to do stuff that I don't normally do. I'm um, doing some crankbaits for you guys. So if you're in North Georgia, the Alabama, Tennessee area, and you can make it to the NOE Outdoors show this weekend, it is Friday 3 to 7, Saturday from 10 to 7, and Sunday from 12 to 5. In Cartersville, Georgia, I will have all of the deets in the description below for you guys. Please come out and let's talk paint, let's talk swim baits, crank baits, and everything else that's spring and pre-spawn. Would love to see you guys. Hopefully we will. And I've got some cool stuff to show you. So first up in the crankbait area, I have got uh, a bunch of stuff that I don't normally do. I've got some OEM Strike King stuff and uh, received them as clear blanks. This is one of them, if I can get the focus in, there we go. There it is. This is the Chick Magnet and I have a smaller um, BFS system chick magnet that's a teeny little guy. Let me see if I can find that one for you. So a couple of different sizes. And if you guys follow socials, you heard me talking about uh, Marion Tipton and the designer of said chip mag chick magnet. And this is that. So I got a chance to hang out with him a little bit at the Nashville show. We were, we had booths like right across the hall from one another. And this is the original wooden version that Tip did. And it's got Andy Morgan's signature because he was had a hand in the design of it as well. And this was painted by Marion Tipton, who is the nicest guy in the world, by the way. Um, super knowledgeable, very friendly, very helpful. Um, just genuinely, even in his elder years, has a huge passion for fishing. So it was so good to be able to talk to him. But this is the basis for what the ABS plastic chick magnets are all about. And I do believe that there's some new stuff in the works as well. I know um, Mike Russell, painter and Strike King aficionado, is working on some of those as well. Um, he's, a, he's a really good painter and has become a friend over the years, which is pretty cool. So I've got those going out. I've got three basic patterns for this weekend. And I say basic, but there's there's always a lot of bling to them because I use the color shift paint, which is always fun. So this is like a purple to green shift that you can see a little bit in the, in the face of that. And just really, really clean. This is the 1.5 wake from Strike King. And then I have some poppers because if you know anything about me, I am a topwater junkie. So did some really, really cool stuff. Now this is this is a Berkeley popper. These are not uh, knockoffs. These are OEM blanks from said companies, which is pretty cool. Getting a chance to paint them up for you guys this weekend. And then the larger one. So this is the herring pattern that I'm doing. And I, and I picked herring for a couple of reasons. The lake that's directly involved in, uh, in the Cartersville show is Alatoona. Every year they do a competition out on that lake. So I decided because there are lots of herring in that lake now, there didn't used to be, uh, I wanted to do a bit of a herring pattern and get those out for you guys. So I've got a herring and then I've got uh, this gizzard, which is a, a very Tennessee River kind of a feel to it. It'll work pretty much everywhere. Just that goldish brown back going into the purple in the face and a very brightly colored lip area. And I've got these three patterns in a lot of different, this is the smaller red-eyed shad. This is the OG red-eyed shad. This is the big one. This one, uh, this one measures in at about 80 centimeter, 80 millimeters. Sorry, I don't, I've been confusing centimeters with millimeters all day. So 80 millimeters on this one, and a smaller one is right around 60 millimeters. So perfect spring target type stuff. 
A lot of good pre-spawn. This is my signature and the fire cart pattern. Just real, real happy with the way these came out. And uh, a lot of these are going to be getting some special hooks. I was going through my hook box and cleaning up the office because this time of year the office gets pretty blown up from all the work that I'm doing in it at such a rapid breakneck pace. And I came across all of my good Gamagatsus. And then, uh, of course, I got a little emotional over seeing this guy. He did uh, some of the best finesse like light wire hooks in the in the game in the entire because he was a finesse guy so um, just wanted to get Aaron's face out there and uh, fond memories of watching him in the Chesapeake of course you guys know I grew up on the Potomac as a home river and uh, and watched him absolutely crush in the Upper Chesapeake and uh, Susquehanna so I've got these little guys in a couple of different sizes I've got 2.5 in all three patterns. So everything that you see here on the desk is in all of the three patterns that you guys are gonna see this weekend. I'm also gonna have some other stuff out there. I just haven't pulled it out. So I've got some plopper style baits and these are from the Lose lineup. These are, again, they are not knockoffs. They are OEM manufactured baits for you guys. That's what I've got. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. Going to have spray sessions coming out for the rest of the week. I've got uh, two lined up for next week to roll. So I will see you guys. I hope you have a fabulous day and catch you on the next one. Cheers. Happy casting from Jekyll Bates.